As you're aware, at about 8.05 p.m. on Monday, the 9th of July, uh, police were called to the Powerbanks shopping centre, and that was in relation to a report of a female having been stabbed at that location. The victim of that attack, who's in her 30s, suffered significant injuries, and she's currently being cared for in the Royal Adelaide Hospital. The attack happened in the toilets area of the shopping centre, and no doubt this would have been extremely frightening for the female victim. Due to the nature of this incident, the matter has now been declared a major crime. Major Crime Investigation Branch will now lead this investigation and will be working with detectives from Northern District CIB as the investigation progresses. An incident room has been established at Elizabeth Police Station and that incident room will be staffed by detectives from Major Crime, Northern District CIB and intelligence specialists from Major Crime. This is a cowardly attack on a defenceless person who was going about their business trying to earn their living and uh, it sh is appalling. We have already released footage of the person believed to be involved in this attack and I would urge the media and the community to closely view that footage because someone out there knows who this person is. Anyone who has information in relation to the identity of the person or indeed suspects they know the identity of the person I urge them to contact police and they can do that through Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. The man that we believe is involved is described as Caucasian in his age somewhere between 20 to 30. He was of medium build. He was wearing dark coloured clothing which consisted of dark track pants with a light motif on the left leg which can be seen from the footage. He had a dark jacket, a light t-shirt and was wearing a beanie which was either black or dark blue. As I say, this is a sickening attack and the man responsible needs to be held to account. So we urge the public to come forward and give us information and do that through Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 and that can be anonymous if you wish that to be the case. I'll take some questions. Did you able to speak to the victim yet and what is she called yet? We spoke with the victim initially in the early stages but um, obviously the priority was her welfare at that stage and her health. Um, so we've got some basic information and um, we have spoken to her uh, in a little bit more detail and she confirms that she does not know the person who attacked her, uh, does not recognise him and does not recall any incidents uh, that would have led to her being attacked by this person. Did she say the attacker said anything to her? Uh, there was some words spoken initially and we're still just trying to establish exactly what that was and what the context of that was. So um, at this stage I wouldn't disclose what those words were. Motive is obviously really important in every investigation, so that's a focus point for us, but at this stage there's no clear motive. Um, what I would say to you is if you look at the footage, the person seems to have walked into the toilet area with some sense of purpose, uh, some sense of premeditation, you could say, um, and certainly has walked out very calmly afterwards, so that in its sense um, is very suspicious. Is there any suggestion that some racially motivated against her? There's no indication that this was racially motivated, no. On the face of it, um, she's a normal lady who's employed, she's married, um, and yet there's no issues that um, sp spring up to give us any concern. Have you spoken to her husband? Yes, we have spoken to her husband, yes. And there's no suspicion of, of him having anything to do with it? At this stage, um, we keep completely open mind, but her husband is supporting her, and uh, there's no suspicion attached to him at this stage. Does that mean she's She's... My understanding is she's been subject to significant surgery um, during the day. Um, the injuries were significant, uh, knife wounds, um, and it will um, take her some time to recover from those physical scars, and uh, I would say the, the mental scars will also take some time. Have you had any positive leads of inquiry from witnesses, members of the public, that perhaps recognise this man from the footage? Or I guess the good thing from an investigation point of view is there's lots of CCTV footage, which takes time to process and... and and work through, uh, and we've also spoken to a number of witnesses that have given information which we need to piece together. So I say this attack did happen on Monday. Um, ideally, we want to identify this person as quickly as possible, but we have certain things that we need to work through, and that's important. Have you had a positive response from your 
We have we've received a number of Crime Stoppers uh, reports, and we're reviewing those and speaking to people that have uh, provided their details. Um, not off the top of my head because it's something that grows as we progress. So um, uh, we had uh, certainly up to double figures um, as of uh, lunchtime today. Sorry, could you say that again? Have you identified one particular suspect, like one person of interest, or are you still trying to work out who that is? We're still trying to work out who this person is, and that's why we're asking for the public to help. Uh, I think you'll agree, despite the footage being quite grainy, um, anyone who knows this person, if it was your brother, your father, a friend, you would know this person. That, if that's the case, come forward and tell us who it is. How are families dealing with this now, you know, the absence and the significance of injuries to the Michael family? Look, naturally, this is a um, complete shock to them. Um, their initial um, concerns would be around her welfare and how she's going to recover, and as you say, how that recovery process is going to um, go on over the next uh, weeks and months. And uh, we'll, we'll, we provide them with as much support and uh, access to uh, support services as we can to assist in that recovery. But yes, it's going to be a long road. Do you know if she has children? I'm not aware that she has any children. Uh, my understanding is she's been there for quite some time, um, so yeah, the, probably in the, in the region of a year at least. Just by, I was wondering, in terms of the cut, was that just on her skin, or did that cut into her eyes, or any other kind of significant part of her face that would affect this eyesight or anything she, like that? She had a number of injuries um, on her body. I don't want to go into specifics because those are specifics that the attacker uh, may only know, so um, we'll just leave it there. How concerned are you that this guy is still out there? Obviously, we're concerned the fact that we've declared it a major crime, the fact that um, um, South Australia Police is devoting so many resources to this investigation indicates that we are concerned and we want to find this man and, again, appeal to the public to help us do that. So he's dangerous, you think? Anyone who attacks someone in this way is dangerous, yes. Okay. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.